Hey, how's it going guys? Jason here from Inshore Fishing. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to make ourselves a homemade conga trot. Um, I'm using 8mm floaty rope for the main main line. Um, the reason I'm using 8mm is so I'm hoping I can winch it up with my winch instead of hand pulling it. Um, we've got some, what size hooks are there? Size 4 conga hooks. So they're nice decent sizes. So we're going to tie that on. There's some twine that we've got as well which is 100 meters, 1.5 thick. It doesn't have what break and strain it is or anything like that, but this is going to be our trace from the line to the hook. So um, yeah, we're going to start looking at getting this made up. I'm not sure how many hooks we're going to go for yet on it. We might do 25 hooks, we'll see how long it is. But yeah, guys, we're going to start cracking on and making it up. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. See you in a sec. That's fine. Well, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to do this six fathom apart. So one, two, Three, four, five, six. So we've got six fathom. And what we're going to do is we're going to get one of our hooks, which I've already tied on. These are the hooks, look. The conga hooks. Oh, yeah. Let's take yeah. that off, let's see if you can just see it. That's, that's all shot. it is. Nice big hooks. With the eye on the top, which goes through like that. And I've tied that off with just a normal fishing mm. knot. And we're doing that at about a fathom long then all we do what? what we do is we get our fid we're going to splice it through the rope like so then we're going to take the end of this we're going to pull that through a good bit like that and then all we're going to do is splice it through again the next one over the top so it's gone through a couple of times like so here if you can see that and we'll do it one more here and then we'll tie it off. Probably didn't have to go that far through, to be honest. But there you go, you see how that's gone through there twice. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to go round it like this. I'm going to tie that off there, like so. See that? See how you've tied round? And we'll go back underneath again. And we'll go through again. Just a simple granny knot. Just do that a couple of times over. Just so that you're always... Make sure you're always going over your main line. So like that, I'll go under again. You can go twice if you want that. But see how I'm going over this line. Like so. So I'll go over that. Then what you can do is just do a half hitch. A half hitch up. I'm going to do it yeah. over the top, like so, like that, and I'll finish that off with just a normal granny knot, which you'll pull down tight to the top of your half itch, and then that won't come off. So then that's one. So then what we're going to do is for now, I'm just going to chuck it in the bin, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six again, so we know that that's there. I'll put that on the edge of the bin. Then what we're going to do is pull another fathom from this. So there. I'm going to cut that off. Oh, just put a hole in the seat. Then what we're going to do is we get a hook out. And what we'll do, like I said before, just a simple fishing nut. How you'd normally tie your hooks on. Go through. I always like to go through twice, through the same hole. And then pull that down like that. Give it a nice pull, like so. And there we have it. Second one tied on. Can you 
restart. All of it has to restart all of it. Right guys, so with, with Tanux in now, as you can see there, we've just got them, I've put them over the side like this. So we're up to 10, so bins are full, we're probably not even quite halfway through. So I want to go for another five, but we might go for another 10 yet and make it a 20 up trot, right, you know? So we're going to see how we get on and that, but yeah, let's crack on and get some more. Right guys, there we have a 20 hook, brand new conga trot. No, Buzzing to chop this out. Can't wait to see what a fish is like. I'm hoping the colour doesn't affect it in any way, but I wouldn't have thought so. It'd be one of these sort of things with the congas. You'd pay it out just before dark and then pull it in the morning. So it'd be dark in the sea anyway. So no, hopefully. Well, I don't know what we'd bait up. We might cut up some mackerel or something like that and bang some mackerel on the hooks. But yeah, there we have it, guys. So um, we'll uh, we'll catch you back when we next on the boat and we're putting it out. Hopefully see you soon then. See you later.
thereabouts and just there. Cheers for coming along, that weren't bad, that truck worked out alright to be fair, it was a bit of a trial and error thing, um, weren't sure how it was going to work out and that, but we had them four congas, the two smaller ones ended up chucking back, kept the two bigger ones um, for pop bait and stuff like that, so now yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, next time we'll be putting it out hopefully in the dark, so hopefully next time guys we'll have some slightly bigger congas and hopefully a lot more, so yeah, now nah, cheers for that guys, cheers for supporting the channel everybody. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Eh? Take it easy. See you later.